I remember seeing a tweet from at and Scranor about how the 2000 version of Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas was a really bad adaptation due to the fact that it obliterated the original source material in the minds of an entire generation and replaced it with a new interpretation that breaks the whole story. Without stating my thoughts about the 2000 Grinch film and how it differs from the book, that statement rang in my mind when I was watching the next adaptation of Christmas Every Day because it is a perfect example about what happened to the original source material being rewritten into a quote-unquote new story that removes the original moral and replaces it with another one. I'm talking about the 1996 Family Channel TV movie Christmas Every Day. The movie is about a teenage boy named Billy Jackson who hates Christmas. His Christmas day turns out to be a disaster when his uncle comes for the holidays and is willing to buy his father's store and replaces it with a mega store to make money. He misses the basketball shot in front of the school bullies and his crushed Diane. He ruins the school pageant by pulling off a prank and he tells his younger sister Sarah that Santa isn't real and to stop acting like a big baby. She gets upset and wishes that every day could be Christmas. The next day, it's Christmas, and the events that happen is repeated with no one but Billy remembering that it did. At first, he thinks it's a joke, and the family are playing a prank on him. Next, he predicts everything that happens even before the events occur, leaving his family confused. Then, he leaves his family behind and spends the day with Diane acting like the cool guy. Finally, he understands that in order for the cycle to break, he has to learn about the true meaning of Christmas. When you finish watching this movie, you're probably having a thought in your head that it reminded you of another classic. Hint, it's not a Christmas movie. It's the 1993 comedy film Groundhog Day, starring Bill Murphy. Think about it. A grump of a man who has a terrible Groundhog Day is forced to relive it over and over and over again. But over time, he decides to indulge himself with a lot of crazy scenarios with no consequences because the day is going to repeat again anyway. But then he learns the important lesson about how precious life could be and to not waste it away, but instead learn from the mistakes and do better for both yourself and for others. The same thing happens here. Billy begins as a person who hated Christmas, but then a person who only cares about his own Christmas day and neglects his family. And then finally, he learns that Christmas is about doing good for others and righting the wrongs he has done. In fact, both days start off like this. I'm not even joking when I say this, but I typed Groundhog's Day on YouTube and this movie popped up on my search. Say what you want about both the 2000 and 2018 version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, but at least they kept the original moral of the story about Christmas meaning so much more than gifts, toys, and decorations. The Grinch realizes that Christmas is not an awful holiday filled with noise, 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 but instead one filled with caring and love. But this TV movie completely obliterates the original moral and replaces it with a moral from a movie that isn't even a Christmas story. I'm sad to report this, but there are more Christmas Every Day adaptations that take inspirations from this interpretation than the original 1892 short story. Even as late as last year, Disney Channel's Christmas Again is taking cues from Groundhog Day than Christmas Every Day. It's crazy how similar both trailers are. If everything resets, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Time to spice things up. What is your plan, Rose? The plan is I'm reliving my favorite Christmas memories. Well, you, we could do whatever we want. <laughs> He's discovering the possibilities. Don't you worry about cholesterol? Why? And living life mm. like there's Phil? no tomorrow. Phil Connors! Ned! Be okay, okay, let's get back to the 90s version. As its own thing, it's mediocre. The characters are stock and cliche. Billy is just some selfish punk kid who hates Christmas for no reason. Why are characters such as Ebenezer Scrooge and even the Grinch are very relatable with them hating Christmas? Well, we know that Ebenezer Scrooge had a tragic past involving with Christmas, and the Grinch just simply thought that Christmas was just a major noise and distraction and causing all the Who's to become cheerful that he just wanted to take it away from them so that he can be able to remain quiet up in his mountain. As for Billy, I don't know why he hates Christmas. He just does. 
Sarah is a timid girl who is still afraid of something being under her bed. Seriously, she looks too old to be having this kind of issue. I would have preferred it if maybe they would have made the character younger, like maybe five or six or something. She still believes in Santa Claus, and it was thanks to her that Billy is experiencing Christmas every day. Yes, it was her who made the wish, and Billy just stated the wish angrily so that he can be able to shut her up. And that's what got the whole Christmas every day thing happening in the first place. It wasn't from a Christmas fairy, a letter to Santa, or a magic star. It was simply because Billy told Sarah that Santa didn't exist, and she became so upset that she wished it was Christmas every day because it was the best day of the year. Remember, Billy is the only one reliving Christmas every day, not everyone else. Plus, it doesn't even last a whole year. Maybe a week tops. My life's on rewind. The uncle, aunt, and cousin are just rich snobs whose purpose of coming is to propose to Billy's dad about buying his store and converting it into a mega store that he owns. The dad refuses since it would destroy the local stores in their small town. The bullies are generic bullies and the crush is a generic crush. Nothing to write home about. It's harmless enough, so I would give it a recommendation if you're curious to check it out. But as a Christmas Every Day adaptation, it's an insult. Not only because they didn't use the original source material other than the title, not only because they ripped off a comedy classic that has nothing to do with Christmas, but now this story has become the standard of Christmas Every Day adaptations, and it really irks me. The original story was about being careful what you wish for, and something as good as Christmas could be catastrophically awful if it happens over and over and over and over again. Everyone suffered from it, not just the person who made the wish. The day didn't reset like it never happened. It happened and it continued on for an entire year. That's what made the story unique because the moral wasn't learning about the true meaning of Christmas. We already have enough stories with that moral, thank you very much. I know I'm criticizing this movie because it doesn't follow the source material, but I'm looking at adaptations that are based off of this short story. If it doesn't follow an inkling of it, it fails. I'm sorry. If you do like this movie despite not following the original source material and being a complete Groundhog Day ripoff, that's fine. I'm not going to hold it against you. If this is a movie that you tune into every Christmas, then enjoy. Well. Tune in next time as we talk about a Christmas special based on a TV show that isn't necessarily a Christmas everyday adaptation, but it captures the spirit of the story in its own unique way. See you then!